Hey everybody, welcome to the Wednesday Devotional. I'm going to read to you this morning from Psalm 139. Hear the word of the Lord. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all of my ways. For a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. You created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. When I awake, I am still with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I was reading a book that was written about this psalm, Psalm 139. It's from David. And what they were saying was, what David was saying is, it's me and you, God. It's me and you. Like, we're in this. We're in this together. So this morning I came outside and everything was beautiful. Um, all these flowers and these plants are bursting forth life because of all the rain. And the sun's shining. It's, you can see a little ray of sun shining through the trees here in my front yard. Um, when I came out here, my wife was sitting in a chair during her morning, morning devotional, and I saw my dog laying in the shade out in the backyard, and everything looks wonderful. The thing is, I know that there's a lot of uncertainty out there. I'm totally aware of that. But there's also things that I'm certainly thankful for. And even things might seem a little bit shaky, but I believe that God is unshakable in so many ways. Amen. So when I first walked out here, I was keenly aware of God's presence in my life. And just that thought brought me so much joy and peace. I'd like to encourage each one of you to find a few minutes to be aware of the beauty and the ways that God is moving all around us, how God is present with us, how God is moving. How is God moving in your own life? So when things... Um, when life gets a little crazy and all that, you know, I know those are situations that we have to deal with and God is with us and present in those moments for sure. But also there's like this universal, huge goodness that's wrapped around all of that. Uh, there's a song by a guy named Walt Wilkins that he sings about this, this Psalm 139. The name of the song is Wrapped in You. So like we're wrapped in God. And so one way to be really aware of that is um, to be looking for that, to be looking for the spaces um, where
what God is filling in our lives and to be looking, stand back and look and be thankful that God is for us and with us and always present no matter what's going on. So let me ask you a question. What are you focusing on today? And how is God speaking to you today? How are you making time and space to become aware of all the beauty that's all around you and in you? You'll see the things that you're looking for. What are you looking for? And there's a good word from Philippians 4. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. And the God of peace will be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Grace and peace to you. Grace and peace be with you.